beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today is Galaxy Makeup for the NYX Face Awards 2016. I am so excited and I love this look. It was so very fun. It's always fun to get creative and different. So yeah, let's get on into how I created this and how you can create it. I'll start with a full coverage foundation all over the face. Even though we're only going to have one part of it that is actual like normal makeup, the foundation will help even out your skin tone and create an even base for the rest of the makeup. And so since we want to do all of our cream products first, we are going to contour and highlight, but we are only going to do it on the left side of my face because this is going to be our glam side. And this isn't a necessary step if you only want to use powder, highlight, and contour, then by all means go ahead and skip this step. I'm going to take my cream contour shade and just carve out the cheekbone and blend it out. And if you're like me and have crazy baby hairs all up in here, the way I like to use my cream contour on my forehead is to use the same damp beauty sponge as before and dip it into that same contour shade straight into the pan and then just pounce it onto the forehead. I feel like this gives a much more natural contour to the forehead as well as you usually won't have those harsh lines where powders can create where you're like, you know, pale skin up here in your hairline and dark on the face. Now that we've done that, I'm going to use a cream highlight. This is just a very pale, shimmery color. I'm just gonna dab a little bit on the high points of my cheekbone. Just put it wherever you feel comfortable. I want to glow like a majestic alien goddess today, so I'm going ham on the highlight. And then take the same damp beauty sponge just to soften the edges. And a little bit. Highlight, no heart. Highlight, no heart. Now we're going to set this side of our face with a translucent powder and that's just going to make it easier to blend all of the things that we're going to put on top of it. For every cream product that we are putting down on our face, we are going to then set it with a powder product. And that'll just help it last longer. It'll help the pigmentation of the powder It'll help the pigmentation of the powder products. And we're only gonna use powder to set one side of the face because on the other side, we still have another cream product that we're gonna be putting down. Now to continue with the glam side of the face, I'm gonna go in with a light bronzer to give a little bit more color to the face since I use kind of a paler foundation today. This will also help blend out that cream contour if you got it a little bit too dramatic. There's always a way to fix your mess ups if you mess up. So, I mean, no worries, man. It's just makeup. We can, we can fix this stuff. We can fix it together! We can do it together! Now I'm going to set my cream contour and then a light wash of blush. I'm not one that loves pigmented blushes, so I'm just going to go for a very neutral something with a little bit of a mauve tone since we're going to be using a lot of purples today but if you want something super pigmented i mean go ahead it's your face it's what you want now for the powder highlight to just top off all of the cream that we went in with again i want a very glowy look so i am going very dramatic on this highlight so now we are done with the face and we're going to move on to the eyes eye first you want to prime the eyelids eyelid and then you want to set that with a skin tone eyeshadow. And again, that just goes back to setting all of your cream products with a powder product. So I want my eye today to be very bright and colorful and dramatic, so I'm going to do pinks and purples. First I'm going to start with the crease and I'm going to start with a kind of a pinky purple eyeshadow. This will be my transition shade. Let me zoom you in so we can start the eyeshadow. Again, I want this to be very dramatic, so I'm bringing it way up to the brow. Using that same brush, just wiping it off a little bit, I'm gonna go in with a darker purple eyeshadow. All of these shadows that I'm using today are kind of metallic-y, I think with a galaxy look. Metallic is your best friend. You want that kind of iridescent, glowy, ethereal type look. So going in with a purple eyeshadow, exactly where we put this pinky purple, fuchsia, if you will, uh, we're gonna put it in the exact same place, but don't blend it out quite as far. I'm gonna take that same skin tone eyeshadow again and go over the outside edges. Just to kind of blend it in a little bit more. Don't worry about getting all up in your brow hairs. We will fix that later. 
Now I'm just going to take a bright hot pink shadow and I'm going to lay this down onto my lid. Anytime you're working with very pigmented products, you want to pat the shadow down onto the lid. You do not want to sweep. If you sweep it across the lid, you're just going to get all sorts of fallout all over your face. And nobody wants that. Then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush with a little bit of black eyeshadow and deepen up the outer corner. And then you can go back in with the brush that you put the purple down with to blend that out. And I feel like this isn't quite as dramatic as I want, so I'm gonna go in with some glitter. My all-time favorite glitter primer so far is the NYX Glitter Primer. I picked it up at Ulta, and I'm gonna use that today to give my eyes a little pop. I'm gonna take just a very teeny tiny amount of that glitter primer and pat it just onto the lid. And then I'm gonna take a bright hot pink glitter and lay it down just everywhere that we put that glitter, everywhere that we put that pink eyeshadow. There we go. It's never a complete look without glitter. Am I right? I'm just gonna grab some black liquid liner and do a dramatic wing to kind of lift the eye. I'm gonna take a small blending brush with that hot pink eyeshadow once more and take it to the lower lash line. Wiping off that same little blending brush, I'm gonna take the dark purple eyeshadow and go in and keep it concentrated on the outer corner. And then once more, but then going in with the black. Again, keeping it focused on the very outer edge of the lower lash line. I'm gonna take just a little bit more of that glitter primer and put a spot right on the inner corner and we're gonna do a little inner corner glitter highlight. Again with that same hot pink glitter that we used on the eyelid. And now it's time to do the brow. You wanna brush the hairs into place and then start with the product. Now that we are looking just a little bit crazy, we are going to start by outlining where exactly we want this galaxy part of our makeup to be. For this, I'm going to use my favorite black base ever, which is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. All officially sharpened and the beautiful. And I don't want this to be a straight line. I want it to be kind of flowy. Don't know exactly where I want to put it just yet, but you do want to make sure that it is one cohesive line. If you keep picking up the pencil and stuff, you could get a bunch of skips, but we can always fix that later if it does happen. So I know that I want to include this part of my contour. I may cut the cheek right here and then bring it down my neck and have all of my neck be galaxy. Looks all right. And then this is going to take a lot of product, but we are just going to fill in the other side. Don't worry if it's not completely even. We are going to go back in with a brush to kind of stipple it all together to get, again, that even base. time to work in some of the colors. I am not going to do my ear because of the way I part my hair. It falls over and you won't see it anyways. But if you're gonna be wearing this to a party or something and you part your hair differently or you're gonna have your hair up, then I would go ahead and do the ear as well. I'm going to take a purple cream eyeshadow that kind of has a pink shimmer into it and I'm gonna start adding in my Galaxy stuff. I'm gonna be using my fingers just because that's the way I like to use cream shadows. If you wanna use a brush, then by all means, go ahead. Let's just get started. And to blend out the edges of that a little bit, you can go back with the brush that we used to blend out the black and kind of just blend the edges together. And don't worry about these little smudges where the black meets our glam because we can go back over that with some concealer when we're done. I'm gonna take a pink metallic cream eyeshadow and go over exactly where I put the purple, but I wanna keep it more condensed and don't blow it out quite as much. We just wanna keep it right in the center of everywhere we put the purple. And now we are gonna start setting everything with powder eyeshadows. First, I'm gonna start with that same hot pink that we used all over the eyelid on our glam side, and just put that everywhere that we have the vibrant pink eyeshadow. And then taking that same brush, but wiping it off just a little bit, I'm going to use the darker purple that we used on the glam side and go over all of the purple cream shadow. And now we're gonna take the matte black and set all of this part that isn't really touching any color just to try and get a very black even base. And then take a 
fluffy blending brush and blend the black into the purple just a little bit more. And just to make sure everything is very well blended, I'm gonna go in with the purple one more time and just kinda go over everything. The pink edges, the black edges, all that. And make sure you line the waterline with some black eyeliner. And now for the messy part, we're going to add in the stars. For this, I'm going to use a white liquid lipstick. You can also use some cream or alcohol activated paints if you would like, but all you need is your white product and then a small toothbrush. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this product on the back of my hand. I'm going to dip the toothbrush into it and then start to flick it all over my face. I'm gonna try and keep the white mostly centered to where like the pink is. I wanna keep the light color and then disperse, but of course there's gonna be white all over. But I'm gonna try and keep the majority of that light color in the center of the swirl. And as you flick it, you want to move the brush as you go because you don't want too much all in one spot. Or if you do want a whole lot right in one spot, then just leave it where it is and don't move it all over the place. having trouble focusing on me now that I am mostly galaxy. Um, I'm gonna take the same white liquid lipstick, again just use whatever white thing you are using. I'm gonna take a very small thin pencil brush and kind of put in a little bit of larger stars. This is our you know dispersed little bitty but we want a little bit more definition if you will. So now that we're done with that we're gonna start to clean up with a little bit of concealer on a thin synthetic brush. And then just make sure to blend out that concealer into your foundation. Now let's glam it up with some false lashes and we should be done. And there is the finished look you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video today you guys. I had a lot of fun creating this look. And you know, fingers crossed for all of this. Give me a thumbs up if you did like this video or if you learned something interesting. Give me a comment down below and tell me what you think. Tell me what you would like to see next week even. And please subscribe if you have not already because it would really mean so much to me. Thank you, you're all so very beautiful and I will see you next week. Bye.